Hey guys, it's Becca, back with the Millman family, and I'm here with Daniel, and we are actually in Egypt, because he has a opportunity um, with his adventures, and he also has two opportunities for at home for in Egypt, so that's why we're here. And if you can see, there's a yellow chondro python on the ground. I'm not going to catch it, but... Um, we actually are in the middle of a task, and I don't understand why every single time he comes here, he's in his underwear. Okay, so we actually have a task. But we have to go into Tomb of the Burning Sands, which we have to find that. And this music is really weird. No offense. Pyramid of the Burning Sands. Okay, so he's on his way here. And I'm pretty sure this is where we have to go. Um, I did start this, I believe. Yeah, I did. Alright, so he's now here at the pyramid. He's right here. And, um, we need him to... Let me just tell you, last time he was here, he actually caught on fire, so... It's kind of a little scary to have him back here because um, I know what happened last time and I wasn't too thrilled about it. And so let's hope this time he doesn't go on fire again. You know, I could have just went through... Oh my god, whatever. Use the stairs. And he need, this is what he needs to do. He needs to clear this big, large pile of stone. And we're down here to get flame fruit, but I know where we can get some, but I want to go this way first, because they didn't get to go this way, and so there's like stuff over here that he hasn't gotten to yet. Fast forward. Alright, now let's get him to open this treasure chest. And we got a Sarcophaga Fragment Plane. Sure. Um, I don't really know how to say that word, so. He gets a memory because he opened a treasure chest. Alright, he needs to collect the coins. And then he needs to stand on this because I don't know what it's going to do. Oh, it just opens this. Okay. Um, now he needs to explore this because it brings us over here. And this is where he went on fire. <laughs> so, thank God we're done in this room because I really don't want him to go on fire and die. And he has to go through here. Yeah, go through the tunnel. He has to go through this door. And then we have to harvest these um, flame fruit, flame fruit, and then he needs to go through that door, because he already opened this treasure chest, 
The only reason that we had to come back was because he got too tired and he couldn't harvest any more fruit, so I have to come back now to do it. But he other, has other things he has to do, so for opportunities for at home, for um, he has two of them for here, so it's not like we're just here to harvest flame fruit. We have other things we have to do, too. found a few more bushes that he can harvest. And what's cool is, um, whatever he doesn't have to give her, because he only has to give the lady four of five, he's going to be able to keep. So that's like a bonus for us because then we can plant it later on, which is cool. And... Alright, I'm going to fast forward because I don't want to sit here and watch him do this. Because it's going to probably take a bit. And he actually just gained his first gardening skill, so we're going to share that because it's a big one. I always share, like, the big ones, mostly. Or, like, a new one. Uh, anyways. Alright. So we went through this door now, and there's nothing in here that he needs to collect or anything, so we're going to have him go up the stairs. Because he's going to bring us up here, and this is dark, so I can't even see what it is. Um, I guess it's just a room? I don't really know. Not really seeing too much here. Oh, he can clear this. Oh, I thought he was done. Alright. Now let's have him open that. And there is a plum bob cut alabaster in there, so we'll take that. And then he needs to stand on this thingy on the floor. And it's going to open a something. A door, I think. Yep. And... I think we're back to the beginning. Yeah, we are. Um... Have him go through the door and have him deliver the flame flame fruit that he owes to the lady. Because oh yeah, he brings his car too, so it's pretty cool. Because we don't have to wait so freaking long for everything. Okay, so we're now in town, and he is delivering his flame fruit to her, and she said, your effort in this endeavor is to be commended, but perhaps we can put it to better use. Mercury Corp believes Mana Lufty may have information on those relics they were looking for. May Menno Lefty knows about some sort of old book that may contain precious information that we need. Go get this information. So we have to ask about the ancient book to Mina Lefty. And for doing that, he got 20 visa points and $900. And he also has reached visa level 1 now. And he has longer vacations, can now be enjoyed abroad, and now new rewards can be purchased from the special merchant. Check the adventure journal for more details. Alright, so I think this is the girl. This girl. Here. <laughs> we won't make any comments. And she said... Maybe I should get familiar with Metal Lefty before attempting this again. So we need to chat with her. No, 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 no. Not rudely. Okay, well, I guess it went through. Not 
boost about gardening skills, chat with her, compliment her home, discuss adventures, um, trade local gossip, apologize. Um, Daniel learned that Mina is a couch potato, has a good sense of humor, and is a light sleeper. And then let's make a silly face and tell a funny story. Um, hopefully that'll be enough. Maybe we can sing a song with her and maybe that'll be good. Um, oh wow, have you heard that Farouk Rashid is completely broke? Nope, didn't hear that until now. Alright, now we're going to ask about the ancient book. So he, she still has to get friendlier with her. So let's chat with her. Visit her house. Okay. And eat a morsel. Come on, somebody answer the door. I can see her in there. I can see her inside the house reading a book. And she's not coming to the door. All right. This is the girl we need anyway. Chat with her. Compliment her home. Get to know her. Get to know her. Trade local gossip. Turn this off. Um make a silly face, tell a funny story, and then ask about the ancient book. Okay, that was kind of weird. Taking a quick look around, you find it hard to believe there could be a command center below this quaint home, but there must be an entrance hidden around here somewhere. Learn that Mena is rich. Have you heard that Shadia Rashad is completely broke? It still says he has to get friendlier with her. Like, how much friendlier do you want them to be? Chat with her. Compliment her home again. Discuss some of, some of your adventures. Get to know her. Trade local gossip again. Make a silly face. Make a funny story. Then ask about the angel book. Hopefully by that time, it'll be good. Because that's a lot of interactions for one little question. Alright, gonna ask about the book again. And I'm hoping that they're good enough friend well, friendly enough to for her to answer. Alright, it says there's an ancient library hidden in a home in town. Inside you will find a chest with the information you seek. You may need to befriend the owners of the house before getting access, just a thought. So gain entrance to the secret ancient library and find the book that contains important information. So Now it's just too late for us to do it. So, since I'm pretty sure he's tired, he can't use your potty first. No. Come on. Oh my god. I hate her. 
Okay, well, he needs to use a shower and a can, first off. Which, I know he has some. Right, right here. Use one of these. And then let's place your tent. And let's get you to sleep. Because he has to wait until it's not so late before he can go over and talk to the people. So I'll come back when he's awake. Alright guys, so I woke him up because it's like 10 in the morning and he's really hungry and he really needs to use the bathroom. So I gave him a... Uh, a morsel and he ate that and he's got to pick up his tent before we go here because we have to use the bathroom well we I use the bathroom here because it's closer than running all the way back to the base camp or whatever it is so I know the bathroom is over here so let's get him to use the bathroom before we head off to start the task again Alright, now we need to find the house that we need to go to. And we need to click. The hod is out at the moment. Well then, can we break in? Honestly? Are you kidding me? You can't even break into this thing? Come on. Alright, well, we're pretty much just going to go here then, and we're going to wait and wait and wait until somebody gets here. Because he has to be here, and maybe we could do one of the other tasks at the moment. Um, he needs to go for a four-hour jog. So let's get him to do that, I guess. One of his things he has to do for his home home adventures. He has to jog for four hours. So let's hope that he jogs and he's jogging in his formal wear. Always fun. I don't know why it's doing that. Okay, well, anyways. Um. We're at two of four hours jogging now. So, let's hope he keeps jogging. Do 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 do. Two and a half. Um, three hours. All right. Pause. Now let's get him to like start on his way back here. And once it's four, I'm gonna stop him. So. We won't have to sit here and wait for this to finish. Which he's at over three and a half now. And... Okay, he finished that. So I'm just going to click go here. And it's, uh, it's nice. You'll now have some nothing, something to show off when... Paparazzi take pictures of you at the pool. And he earned 250 celebrity points. And jogging in Egypt keeps pretty good feels pretty good, especially without all of the humidity. Daniel will have to do this more often, is what it says. So he still has to play the guitar for tips in Al Samhara, but I tried this last time and it didn't go away, so I might not have done it in the right area. I'm not sure. But it still says he's out, so we're going to go to the, the market center place here. And 
Um, we're just gonna play here because this is the only place I can think of to play and it not like, and it like works. So let's play for some tips. Maybe he has to like actually get a tip because he was out on the outskirts of the town and he didn't actually get a tip when he played. So hopefully if he gets a tip this time, it'll work. Okay, it seems nobody's even paying attention to him. No one cares that he's playing the guitar. <laughs> Come on, people. Wait, maybe this girl will. Nope, totally doesn't care. <laughs> she walked right on by. She don't care. Does that mean he finished it? No. Come on. Can't just one person give him a tip? It might even work. <laughs> oh, wait, wait. I think we got somebody. Alright, come on. Give him a tip. Give him a tip! Oh my god. Somebody give him a tip. Oh my god, what the hell? Why will no one give him a tip? Come on. You would think this would be the place somebody would give him a tip. No one seems to care. <laughs> Someone's like, I hate your music. Stop playing or something. I don't know. Like, this girl's taking photos of him. Just give him some money. <laughs> Stop taking pictures and giving money instead. Even if it's just a dollar, we don't even care how much it is. Oh, my God. Okay, well, he's not going to play anymore because he's hungry now. And he is ultra-tired. So, I guess it's time for him to go back to sleep, guys. We're knowing we got nothing done. Oh, wait. I might want to check and see if that guy is home now. Just to see. He's still out. I don't... Where the hell is this guy? He's been out all day. And he doesn't go home at all. Okay, guys, we'll all come back when something's happening or he gets up. Alright, guys, well, it's the morning, and he's waking up, and he is going to the bathroom. He's going to buy some food because he's, like, starving to death, and then he's going to put his tent in his inventory, and he needs to then take a shower and then head off to hopefully that guy's house, and hopefully he's home. I think we should do that before he does anything out because he seems to not be home very often and we can always come back and get his tent later. But if we don't do it now, I have a feeling he's going to leave the house and by the time we get there, he's not going to be there or by the time we're ready to go over there, he's not going to be there. And today is already the third day of his vacation here, so we're kind of running out of a bit of time. So, yeah. Um. Okay. Knock on, or ring the doorbell. Hopefully the person will come out and we can get invited in so we can go down to the library. Because we really need to figure this out. Okay, we have some, a morsel of food you can eat if you're that hungry. And he had a bad night's sleep because it's a cheap tent because... He is definitely not rich. Um, let's get him to eat this morsel, and I think he's going to have to inspect this to be able to get a staircase or something to open up. It's set in the center of the house, so that's the only thing I can think of. Right, perfect. Use the staircase. 
and um I guess I have to stand on this. Said it was right down here though. I don't really know. Okay, well let's go through this door then. Um Sure, stand on this. Um, okay, go through this door. Oh, come on. Pull far. Um, we now need to push it. And what did that open up? Okay, now let's go through this door. It's like a maze. Jeez, I'm I've never done this one, to be honest. It says, The smell of musty tombs fills the air and Daniel enters the ancient hall. Somewhere in here is a book that should contain the information everyone seeks. And he found a hidden switch and he learned that she is rich. Well, I could have told you that. She has all this hidden poop in her, in her house. Not normal. Alright. Now let's push this far and see if it opens anything. Before we do anything else, let's go through this door. And he needs to stand on this. And that's not what I'm looking for. Pull far. And then he needs to push it. And I think we're running out of time, guys. Twelve hours left in his vacation. Right. I'll go through this door. All right, I think we've finally... Oh my gosh, no, we have to go downstairs again. And this is where it is, guys. We finally found it. <sighs> After all that pushing and pulling and tugging and all that, finally figured it out. This is the Saga of the Three Relics, and another sarcophagus of the king fragment. Um, and here is the Egyptian seagull of the ancient library. And it says, Daniel has picked up a tome describing three powerful sacred relics that exist in Egypt. This is most likely the novel that Sadia Rashid seeks. It would be best to deliver it. And he got 20 visa points for doing that. And he completed a tomb. So we're going to we're gonna share that. And he sa it says, Daniel has just completed the legendary ancient library. Don't rest as there are new adventures to be had. So, oh wait. We have to get up out of here. And... We need to deliver the ancient book. He is like flying. And after we deliver this book, I think we should probably go get his tent. Because if we don't, it'll get left behind, and then we'll lose it. Okay, it says, yes, this book describes three powerful relics left here by the old kings of al Samhara. There's a lot of information that we can use to track down the final relic. Luckily, I already know where another one is. Unfortunately, she does murk you, Corp. There is no time to explain, but you must go to the merchant Ash Aisha Lufti before Mercury Corp 
goons arrive and obtain the relic of the sun, which is in the merchant's possession. I'll explain more later, just go. So we have to ask about relic of the sun to Aisha Lufti to obtain the relic of the sun. But first, he is stinky and he's hungry. So we need him to shower and eat a morsel. And then I want him to go here and collect his tent before we lose it. And then we can ask about the first relic to that lady. Since he has some time left, just not a ton of it. And she's actually right in here. Perfect. And we're actually friends with her, I think. He earned 25 ancient coins. Oh, it says he has to be friendlier with her, but I remember I remember being friendly with her about something else. Who's this? Tyla Salute? Sure. Okay, so we're greeting her. We're going to chat with her. Um, discuss our adventures, get to know her, trade some local gossip, be funny, and let's turn down that volume, jeez, <laughs> it's like blaring at us, and I really don't want it to be blaring at me right now. Okay, so I'm going to fast forward again because who likes to watch them converse all the time? So the relationship's going up, but I'm not sure if it's going to be enough. So let's maybe be friendly and chat with her a bit more and discuss his adventures again and get to know her a bit more and trade some more local gossip and then be funny because she really liked it when he was funny maybe she has the he said oh wow have you heard that Nepthi Hawa is completely broke how come everyone here is broke no one's rich well there is a few but I feel like everyone that he keeps complain he keeps talking about is broke not rich broke it's weird. Okay, so I think they're high enough now where he should be able to ask about the relic soon. But I'm not really sure. Oh, well, have you heard that Sania Medbali is completely broke? And it says he still needs to get friendlier with her. So let's be funny again. And, um, chat with her, get to know her, um, trade some more local gossip, I don't really know, um, discuss adventures, like, I'm running out of time here. I know I can always come back, but it costs a million trillion dollars. <laughs> I mean, I've got more than I left, I came here with, which was what I intended, but I have a birthday party coming up for his daughter, which is going to take quite a bit of money. Okay, so says, race to copper. Ah, so Sadia Rashid wants me to hand over this relic, eh? I have no use for it, but you do, which means there is value in the piece. I judge this value is to be five chunks of copper. Bring me this and I will hand over the relic. You had best hurry though. I may get a better offer. So I have to bring her five chunks of copper. Hang it. And he's hungry again. And I'm pretty sure that we're not going to probably be able to do much more because I need to get him to eat something more than just those little morsels of food because they're not filling him up. So after he's done eating, if there's more time, then 
we can go out, but if not, then we are not going out. And let's get him to eat. I think last time he was here, he ate shrimp. But this time, let's get him to eat hot wings. The vacation will be over in an hour. Yeah, in two minutes it's over. Although this phase of the adventure is at an end, there are many more to be had in Egypt. Return home, rest up, tell your story or two of adventures he had, then return to Egypt for another foray into the unknown. Alright guys, well, that was his adventure in Egypt. So we're on our way back home, and the next time I make part of this video, it will be um, when Julia is having her first birthday. So I will talk to you guys in a little bit. Okay guys, so um, it's finally her birthday now. Well, it's the day of her birthday. And um, it is almost 5 o'clock and the party is at 7. And she's been here just chillaxing in her wing. And Daniel is <laughs> sleeping on here. And Jeannie is at work, but... There's a little bit of a glitch I got going on. Um, if any of you watch Rachel Two Eight Two's videos, um, Angel was sneaking for like ever when she got into trouble, and now Jeannie's doing it. And um, it was also not—he was also not allowing her go to, to go to school. And that I know that you can go to school even when you're grounded. They're allowed to do that at least. But he, he kept telling her that she could not leave the house at all. And so I had to sneak her out of the house to go to school and to go to work. So I'm sure that this is going to be exciting because when she gets home, um, she's going to be getting probably scolded because, um, because she snuck out. But I had to or she would have her grades would have went down. And I also recently did this for the party. I added a little patio and some tables and um, that. And also the house is a tad bit different now. I've changed around the living room and made the kitchen a ton bigger now. And I added a little extra to her room because it was very tiny. And like when <laughs> Jeannie and Daniel were both in there, they would always be like, ah, oh, and they couldn't move. So I decided to move it around a bit, um, and that's pretty much all that's changed with them, and they have a few new items. Nothing much, though, because they don't really have a lot of money. They're still kind of struggling. Um, Daniel has actually now finished his lifetime wish, so he's moved on to the pro, the professional athlete's career, and he's already gained... He, in the first day, he went to level two, so that was really cool. And Jeannie finished her job, and she's now a beverage consultant in the receptionist because she was the spa specialist or whatever. So that is something that is new. Whoa, that zoomed in on him really fast. Um, and the party should be starting in about um, an hour. And I did it so that Jeannie could be home for the party, but I'm pretty sure he's going to get mad at her. But it says the first guest has arrived, so let's um, hold Julia and go out back because this is where the party's going to be. And I even locked the house door because I don't want everyone inside. Um, if you don't know, this is... Um, see, this is Jeannie, and she's sneaking. This is Jeannie's dad, Ezekiel, and her brother, Gary. Um, yeah, here he comes. He's gonna, he's gonna scold her again. But he really needs to hold her so that we can do this party. Um, let's quick blow out candles. And we want to do Julia Millman. And I actually officially changed her name, too, now. It was Shaw. Now it's, um, 
Now it, Millman, and after he scolds her, which seems like forever, and look at all the people, wow, I never expected all the people would come, but I guess they did. I think there's a few people that I didn't invite here. I did not invite Tanisha, I know that, <laughs> um, because I recently had to have Daniel break up with her. Which was weird, because they're like, kind of like foster brother and sister, but... Anyways, so... Jeannie is bringing out <laughs> Julia to the cake now, because it's her birthday. And it says, that's it, you are grounded, young lady. Don't even think about leaving this house. Okay, I won't. Um... I got a playlist going which, I want to change the volume to low on that. Alright, hurry up. <clears throat> because it's getting kind of late, because I had to start the party late so that Jeannie could be here for it, because I'm sure she doesn't want to miss her daughter's first birthday. So. Come on, people, move away from the door. Alright, so she's sneaking out here. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at it, it's so funny. Oh my god. Alright, so it's birthday time, finally. And I'm so excited to see what color hair she has. If she has Daniel Fred or Jeannie's, like, it's like a dirty blonde kind of. But I'm really excited. So, let's see what we get. Oh my gosh. Yay, everyone's coming over and cheering her on. Alright, well the candle has been blown out. And now it is the official time to see what she looks like. Let's hope she's cute. <laughs> standing on her. <laughs> she has black hair. What? So the days have flown by and Julia is now a toddler. She still needs a lot of caring for but can now also learn basic sim skills like walking and talking. What she learns at this age will set the stage for her future development. And, okay, um, let me zoom in on her, she kind of looks like a boy, um, yeah, oh my gosh, look how pretty her eyes are, they're bright purple, Oh. Okay, well, I think she needs a bit different of a hairstyle, because that one's just not cutting it. So, let's have her go in here and change her appearance, because I don't like her hairstyle very much. And I didn't get to choose a trait, which I'm not very happy about, but it says she got hate the outdoors and eccentric, which... I'm not really happy to help. But, we got some memories here that we gotta share. And, I'm very happy that she looks cute, because I was really worried about that, <laughs> to be honest. Like, I was scared that the combination of the two was not going to be good, but it actually is, so. in here. Yeah. 
Okay, so we're going to create a sim now to just choose a different hairstyle for her because this one is kind of like a male hairstyle, I think. But her eyes are really, really pretty. I don't know if you guys can see them very well, but they're like purple and I'm really happy that she's so cute. <laughs> um, let's choose... What is this hairstyle? What the heck? Okay, um... Let's choose either this or... Which I know, I'm not really a fan of that hairstyle because I just think it's boring. Um, we could do a little bow like this. But I don't like that hair on her. Um, what about a hair like this? Is this the same as Christy though? I think we're just going to go with the longer hair. Like this. I think that's what we're going to go with. And we're going to give her different eyebrows. Um, maybe like this? Yeah, they look better because they're not so poofy. They look evil. <laughs> and I just am going to also do her clothing while we're at it because um, I always do this. When my sims age, I always give them a new clothes. So let's plan her outfit. But I'm very glad she came out cute. That's the good thing. Oh, wait. I think she's saying there's something wrong with the door. Maybe it's locked. Alright, now go in. And her favorite color is black, which I think is kind of not cute, but um, it's all that I, I can't really do anything about that because it's already chosen pretty much. And she's so cute. Like, I can't get over how cute she really is. Um... A little dress. <laughs> I think we'll just go with that shirt, the pink one. And we'll give her these jeans. And the shoes she has on are okay. And then for formal wear, we'll give her that dress. That I just showed you, the purple dress. And I'll also give her um, the cute shoes. And then for sleepwear, um, I kind of like the ladybug shirt. So, you can do little white, um, what do you call them? They're like the diaper covers or whatever. And we'll just do no socks. And that will be what little Julia will look like. Um, I think she's very cute. And she kind of needs something to do to keep her occupied. But we do have toys in here. And I also have this. And I think I'm going to get Daniel to let Julia ride the little... Um, spring rider. And she gets a thing for making her own outfit.
What's she doing? Alright, let's get you to put away the leftovers. There's so many of them, and she's still sneaking. Oh my god, so funny. Um, it says Daniel's party was awesome, verging on epic. Sims all around town will be talking about this one for years. And I'm going to turn this off. Why is he not letting her ride? What is he doing? <laughs> Come on, let her ride the little horsey. Can you please pick her up? Thank you. Now please, let her ride. I love these little spring riders. I think they're really cute. And it now says, let Julia Millman ride a spring rider, which he's already doing. So I granted that because if he's going to do it, then I might as well get the free point. Look how cute she is! Aww! Yay! <laughs> Yay! She's so cute! I've never actually used this um, seahorse one, so, aww, she didn't want to get off, but let's let her ride this one, because I want to see what it does, because I've never seen it before, and she needs her diaper changed, and she needs to be fed, too, so we'll have to do that next, oh, look at it, blows bubbles! Okay, well, you need to change her diaper now and feed her in the high chair. And we're not going to sell them, we're going to keep them so she can keep riding them. Because she obviously likes them. And I like to watch her like them. And <laughs> go to sleep. Be quiet. And I put the high chair out back for the party, and now I need to move it into the house. Let's get him to grab a cake slice while she's eating, because he's really hungry, too. Oh, there's pancakes. Alright, we'll use pancakes then. And she wants to teach Julia to talk. And she was just born. And I don't like that she doesn't like the outside, because now she gets the bad mood lip plagued by nature when she's outside, and it's often best for Sims that hate the outdoors to spend as little time out there as possible. And so she's not happy right now because she hates the outdoors, and that's sad. She should love the outdoors. She's a baby. <laughs> And after he's done eating, he can put Julia in her crib because she's tired almost pretty much and he's really, really tired. But there she is. <laughs> she's so cute. Let's zoom in on her. Look at how pretty she is. Her eyes are so cute. They're just so cute. I just can't get over how cute they are. Alright. I'm probably going to sell some of this. Possibly, maybe. I don't know. Might not. Really depends on everything. But. I'm glad little Julia is very cute. She is uber cute. Uber, uber cute. And... There's nothing really I can do with her room, because she's still like a baby baby, kind of. She's still a 
baby in my eyes, so she doesn't really need anything. But, yeah. And, there's nothing much really going on, and everyone is going to sleep. So, yeah, even I think she's going to fall asleep. She's picking her nose, that's delicious. <laughs> um, well, yeah, everyone is sleeping now, pretty much, except for her, and I guess this is where I'll just end the video because you guys probably don't want to watch people sleep. So, I will talk to you guys in the next episode of the Millman Family, which will be with Tanisha and the triplets, and Shay and Maxie and Grace. So, look forward to that, and I will be uploading a video um, about on the house that I've been building recently. If you have been paying attention and watching that, then check that out too. Um, and I hope you guys like this, and please don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe to my channel, and I will talk to you guys all later. Bye!